Hey, it's JC1424 once again with Tony Stewart Sprint Car Racing. My favorite driver in NASCAR of all time released his own video game. Also at very short notice. He's pretty keen on dirt racing and he still does that after retiring from um, full-time NASCAR racing. Now he's a crew chief for Stuart Haas Racing and co-owner of the team with all his, um, his great drivers. And I got my Tony Stewart hat, my Tony Stewart shirt. Don't stop me now, I'm having a good time, having a good time. If you only like these kind of games, you're probably just going to be uh, repulsed by the greatness of the game that comes after this one. It's a weird way to say it, but you get the point. They have three series. We got the top series right here with all the real drivers, and he got, I guess these series like fake drivers, except Jeff Aviano. He helped design the game. He's a really successful racing game YouTuber, and he got to be in the 305 race series. There is the car I designed. I ran it for one race at like Denison Speedway or some crap, and I won after trying for like an hour, with like several restarts, just trying to figure out this game and how it feels. But it's like a Green Bay Packers looking car with silver, green, and yellow. We're going to race as Gerard McIntyre Jr. because his last name is McIntyre. That reminds me of a guy I know named Levi McIntyre with a YouTube channel called Thrash Maniac. So. You know, he loves his, his flaming awesomeness, and this car has flaming awesomeness on it. So, 07. So maybe the lucky car, give me a lucky win. Where do I want to race? Um, yeah, here's Denison. I'm putting on the hardest difficulty, full-length races, like, advanced everything. Uh, here's what we're actually going to have for our races in here. 20% length, so it's like 8 or 10 laps for every track. Uh, full damage, the highest of difficulties. And we're going to have our identifiers on. No flags unless you have it like, I think, yeah, 25%. But yeah, that's our settings. Let's go to Desert Springs. I was thinking about this one. This track has a circus tent, and I want to go to the circus. I like my sprint cars a little bit looser than what they said at default, which is like 50. You put it on 75. But yeah, this was developed by Monster Games. The same people that developed NASCAR Heat Evolution 2, 3, and 4. And then the other NASCAR Heat games way back in the day, including uh, Dirt to Daytona. I think they also developed uh, Test Drive Evo Destruction. I could be wrong about that. At least people that developed those other NASCAR games did. But uh, yeah, so it's it's very similar as far as the layout and everything to the NASCAR Heat games. But considering it's, it's a dirt racing game, I feel like it really achieves what they're aiming for a lot more. The cars are pretty fun to drive, if you ask me. This actually kind of makes Blue Ridge... Uh, from NASCAR 09 feel like a super speedway. This is like this really short triangle track of some sort and the EA Sports NASCAR games that they added starting in NASCAR 2005 Chase of the Cup. You know which one I'm talking about. But yeah, it's like a much more speedy version of that. 1596, 16th. I mean, it's like a, a 40-car fill or something. I don't freaking know what it is, but we're starting fourth in Heat 4. The top five advance to the A main, and then the top two go to the qualifying dash, which is kind of strange because it makes the top two seem kind of useless in my opinion. This guy that started underneath me actually had a pretty damn good start. Let's not hit anybody though. Dive it on in there and cleanly get myself back into P4. I mean, we're dirt racing. I don't think anybody says P4. It's not Formula One, JC. Shut your face. And in the third, I think you checked up for me or something. And I think we're going to stall out and just stick in third for the remainder of this race, which is only two laps long, but of course it's it's just um, one of the heat races. Wow, this car is kind of free. I did set it loose, but I was not ready for this shit. I didn't even realize where the finish line was. I was like, wait, it just ended the race. We're going to start 12th in A main. I have to pass 11 cars if I want to win. I'm not going to pass 11 cars. We're just going to go out there and have fun. I have the audio for the commentary turned on, but set to a low volume just so it's in the background, because if it was like all the way up, then I'd be trying to focus on what he's saying, and that that's terrible. Oh my gosh, they all dive on the first corner. I'm on the outside trying to get to the inside, and they're on the outside, you ain't going nowhere. But let's just try to run similar to what speeds they're running without, you know, overdoing it. Get that same angle in the corners, and we should be able to compete just fine. Just staying right there behind them. Them checking up for other cars is what's going to allow me to get positions right now because we're early on. We're all bunched together. But once it starts spreading out, we're just going to fall back because, in general, I actually suck. Uh, we're probably going to suck in the other series, too, unless they just turn the difficulty down. But I don't know what difficulty I deserve to compete at. That was a terrible corner, corner angle right there. So now I can't stop falling back because the, the starting spread is still not really happening. 
try to get back into 11th. Barnes. I've had so many drivers with the last name Barnes in EA Sports NASCAR games, and there's some guy I went to school with whose last name was Barnes. At this point, it's, it seems like a real last name. Other people, it's like this weird name that not many people actually have, but for me, I guess. But, just kind of fun 12. Trying to set up good corners. That was a good one. But, I need to have a great corner, not a good one. I'm just going to dive past you and slide job. Ta-da! 11th place. Uh, lap traffic does come in handy. Whenever you want to wreck somebody that doesn't matter for a caution. There are no cautions on, so therefore, lap traffic's just going to get in the way. <laughs> just battling. See if I can finish in 11th instead of 12th. I mean, I started 12th, didn't I? So, 11th would be great with me. Some really talented guy start in the back of the field and finish up front with me. I'm just some guy, random guy in this world playing video game. That's what our case is here. Uh, I don't know where the finish line is. It's barely visible. I just keep on going through these stretches, never really knowing what part of the track I'm at. That's something I can say that's different about the Blue Ridge Speedway thing. Okay, there it is. Now I'm starting to get a remember of this. This is turn one, and over there is turn two. Don't have to let off the gas. Just get a good angle in there, and you're fine. At least I think so. And... One last dive, sliding up the bacon like crazy. Okay, 11th place. Uh, it's just um, follow the leader. Got another one of them good replays. Uh, I think I'll pick something out from right here, and then we'll get on to racing in the little tiny midgets. Who won this? Tony Stewart? Yeah. Uh, no! Corey Eliason. Okay, on to All-Star Circuit of Champions TQ Midgets. It's the same Circuit of Champions thing. I don't know what TQ stands for, by the way, because I suck, but we're going to race as Johnny Kringus. Uh, last name Kringus sounds like Pingus. Paint scheme is blue and yellow and white, and I like that color scheme, so that's what we're going to go with. We also got Johnny Hayden Riech, Itchy Steve Part 2 from NASCAR Heat 4. I, don't, I can't pr pronounce these names. I mean, they're American, right? I figure that. And we have Johnny Goff. We have three Johnnies. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. It's the shiny, except it's more dirty. We're going to race at Stoner Ridge, or Stone Ridge. I don't know who in their right mind would name this track um, Stoner Ridge. Scooby Ridge. I don't freaking know. But, uh, yeah, this track's got lots of banking. I uh, love the color of the dirt. It's a night race. I think one we just did was a day race, wasn't it? And uh, it's six laps because it's a smaller series. But let's go ahead and make it... 25%, just so we have about the same length of a race. Because I think this track is shorter than the one we just did, but because it's a lower series, they make shorter races. And plus, we can try out the cautions, so it's going to be what we really want here. We'll put strict yellow so cautions happen every freaking lap or some shit. Uh, we'll probably finish better because we have good restarts. We could probably win this race if I can uh, protect the lead for two laps at our final restart. Well, let's get out of here and save that. Also, I wanted to show you guys, there's a track named um, Bridge Fork Speedway. That whoever chose the names of these tracks, and I know Tony did not name a track Bridge Fork. Bridge Fork, oh my god. But yeah, anyways, Stoner Ridge. I used to play this game called Saturday Night Speedway, and I did do uh, three Let's Plays on my channel with Late Models, Pro Stocks, and Midgets. It's a little bit better than this game because of its dynamic, although it's a little less realistic. The, gr the racing is so much better. But, um,. This thing would happen where because the track had lots of banking, but then it stopped um, and the wall would be like quite a distance away, I'd fall off the track, but you could jump that banking. Kind of like this. Ugh! Flip that shit. Dang it. Flip that shit. Dang it. Flip that shit. Ugh! Dang it. I got damaged though. I didn't know you could get damaged at all. I'm doing wheelies and shit. I want to flip. My shit! Ugh! Close enough. This track is a lot smaller than I thought it would be, by the way. Um, but I do, I do love this banking, and it's completely different from the track we just raced at. I'm thinking the best way to go around this track is to race like a whole freaking circle. 892? Where are we going? Fifth! I'm gonna win this race, cautions or not! Yeah! We are in Heat 1. That's what the game told me. We're starting on the outside of the front row. We have a good restart, so that means I am going to take the lead, and I'm going to win. Um, I'm going to also drive off the track and lose the lead, but I'm still going to win. I'm coming back. I'm not done with you yet. 
Uh, my angle off the corner is way worse than my angle in the corner. I'm gonna lose. What the fuck just happened? I'm gonna lose this race. What just happened? He just went behind me. <laughs> what was the reason for that? I'm like, I thought I was gonna win. And never mind. And then he just ghosted me. Did he do something wrong? Determine a main starting position. So that's what the qualifying dash is. Uh, I mean, that's cool. Even though we have so many fucking cautions, that doesn't matter. Could have had a caution right there. Um, he hadn't ghosted, he just reset across the track. Okay, we got two laps, so, I mean, it's just as much of a dash as heat one was. If we had, like, much longer race length, this would probably be shorter than that race was. I'm kind of just trying to hold up the entire field and keep this lead. Unlike what happened a while ago. I was way too aggressive on those corners. While well, they're trying to come on the outside, I'm going to hold this bottom. No, 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 you bitch ass! Second place? Does that mean I'm starting second in the A-Main now? Hmm. A-Main, starting second. Well, it's still basically first place because their restarts were stupid. You can do the B-Main and the A-Main. B-Mains if you do terrible after qualifying a bunch of times, but not too bad. Otherwise, you can't even make the damn. I think everyone can make the B-Main, but you have to finish well in the B-Main to make the A-Main. Is that correct? You can finish way in the back in the heats and then you can't make the B-Main. Maybe something like that. Uh, you know, this is the same guy right here. The, the blue, yellow, and white car. I mean, I got a different color scheme, but still, um, it's a little different than his. Okay, so we're kind of doing the, uh, the crossovers and shit, and I've got the lead. I'm trying to hold up the whole freaking field. So still just as much passing as there was in the last race. The track is so fucking short, we're going to lap people this time, and we're going to lap quite a few people. Um, I do have like this dynamic on in the settings so that the, the people that are the slowest finish uh, way behind the people that are the fastest, um, like they're much more aggressive. I just got rear-ended off that corner. Um, well, this guy's a lap down. I'm surrounded by lap cars and crap. You gotta get this back. Get back over here. Do do that ghosting thing again. Come on. Uh, I'm not really making the best of corners right now. I'm trying. He's taking this outside line. I prefer the inside. Can lap traffic just like ruin his race, please. I, I think it's happening. Lap traffic is ruining his race. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a human being, so therefore, whenever lap traffic gets in my way, I, I go elsewhere. I, I go around them. You're not winning this. This, this. this is exciting. Last lap. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. This is a freaking wall of lap traffic. I love this track. I love this track. Yes. We win at Stoner Ridge. scooby dooby doo Where are you? I actually won that race. No bullshit right there. I, I I won that with my talent and everything. I did what I had to do on the highest difficulty. You know, no cautions. So no, just great restart after one after the other. I held my own all eight laps of that one. So, cool. Here it is. Speedway Racing for the Nintendo Switch. I do not own a Nintendo Switch. My little brother does. That can connect to a TV and everything. It's not a Nintendo Switch Lite, which is all portable. My girlfriend has one. I got it for, for her um for Christmas, but, you know, you can't, like, record crap like that. But, uh, this is a completely different kind of racing game. This is a arcadey pile of fantastic, fun stupidity. This is a lot like Daytona USA, um, I may, maybe a little like NASCAR Rumble or, um, uh, the Days of Thunder. I, I actually haven't seen any uh, gameplay footage of the Days of Thunder game. But we're gonna go to Phoenix, Sacramento, and Seattle and find out what this crap is all about because I haven't actually raced those tracks, and I want to have a, a genuine, authentic experience playing this game with you guys. I think I unlocked like two cars. Um, I don't want to pick a car that has terrible grip because those things spin out easily. Look at the sponsors on these things. We've got Suwanko, uh, Flow Amster, Goto here, um, Jex, which is not the difference from um, Jegs or whatever the other sponsor is. We've got San Simp, Roshu, Mogo, M Mechelin. It's weird. Um, and I unlocked this one. Axalia. So a nice flame job. This has got some decent grip. Did I unlock anything else in here? Uh, no, I guess that it. So you got a good selection of cars. Subawi! Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you just how much I want to use that Subawi car. Oh, I hope we, uh, we unlock it somehow. It has hardly any grip, but all oh, the acceleration, and it's Subawi. It's like Greg Biffle's car right there. Greg Biffle's Subawi car. Um, I want to pick a decent grip car. I've actually never used this one, and it's balanced out, so we'll pick Black Knight. That's what they call it. Ready. This reminds me a lot of that, that IndyCar game, the 
or F1 car game with the, the bird's eye view. I think this is probably made by the same people. Let's go. This will be a race to remember. Start your engines. Okay. I'm, I'm sure that's true. So, this three, is purplish two, 97 one, looking thing. Go. I like 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, well, I'll just drive to the middle because I guess we're having a really good start right there. I'm just piling into everybody. Gosh, they're slow off the start. Uh, I guess I've got, like, much better acceleration than everybody else, even though it's only, like, halfway. See, what makes this game difficult is the, the clock ticking down if you get held up and involved in the wreck. And, okay, 73 cars dead. And, um, if you're in the wrong place the wrong time going to corner, they'll run you into that wall. Oh, gosh, that's a pile-up off the turn. <laughs> okay, we'll back up. There's a respawn button, but I think it's faster just to turn the damn thing around. This car does not change direction easily at all, and I think that's kind of realistic. This is just fucking cars flying out of nowhere. I am 10th. Okay, let's just finish the best that we can, okay? You know, if you finish the race, that's an accomplishment. But in some cases, you know, you can win the race and still not actually finish the darn thing due to the clock running out. And they don't have a clock. Don't die, JC. Got three of the same car in front of me. This is amazing. This this is amazing. I, I love just dodging Rex constantly. Uh, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I don't give a fuck. Okay. We're sixth. Uh, there's a car on top of a car over there. <laughs> savage! Fucking savage. I saw that. Just destroyed him. I was going down the track. I should have just held my line or went up. Okay. Just turn it around. The car just fucking warped through the other car. Great. I love this. They're just fucking tumbling with no gravity. Nothing. Okay. But whenever we stop and we get wrecked, that puts us in a situation where we might not actually be able to finish the race. Sorry. Once again, I'm not. I, just, I say I'm sorry, but I'm... Where did you come from? Oh my gosh. I'm trying. Can we at least make it to lap 10? The banking is hurting me. But pretty soon, we should be getting to the lead because they're all wrecking into each other, so they get held up and eventually I'm put in that situation where I can just pass them and get the job done. Get out of the way. I don't think I'm going to win this race because I've eliminated so much of my time in the process of... How did I do that? In the process of just getting turned around so often. Oh, God, what a bumping and banging battle. They're all... They held it together. They didn't lose it. Oh, destruction over there. Guy's getting damn wedgy. Uh... And we got brakes in here. It's uh, the triggers for the controls. And I think you can change them somewhere. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so it's like... 15 seconds of lap at Bristol, and I don't know if this is like... Okay! Well, my race is done. Yeah, we're not even gonna make it back to the line. Well, we didn't complete 10 laps, but... We made it to lap 10. And that is the game over at Bristol. Okay, on to a different track then. Orlando is Martinsville. Atlanta is Dover. Boston is Charlotte. Phoenix is Bristol. So, what is Sacramento? I didn't win that race, so I didn't unlock anything. Well, um, let's pick this car. Nice paint scheme. Ready? Let's go. This will be a race to remember. Start your engines. Man, he said that about the last one, didn't he? Um, Three, this is 18 two, laps. One, go. I swear the race that we just did was 20 laps, and I had said that they were all 20 laps, but I guess not. Never mind. Um. I swear the Dover race that I did was uh, 20 laps, and Dover is a longer track than Richmond. But this isn't actually Richmond. That was awesome. I love that. They used to do that in them NASCAR Thunder games, where you start the race and you have the jets fly over. Uh, it was a NASCAR Thunder 2002, and uh, that was amazing. I'm sorry. I no, I'm not. I'm sorry because of what it does to me, not what it does to you. I don't care about you. I'm sorry for the mistake I made because it's going to affect my race eventually. Uh, this is definitely a, a much more clean, racy race. There's someone parked against the wall. Here we go. It, it is NASCAR Thunder 2002 with the guys having the picnic at Richmond. What are you doing? De 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 By the way, the walls are terrible. The walls are so hateable. Did that shadow just morph? Okay. Weird game. We're, you backing into the field? Oh, this is what caused them wrecks. Remember them, them AI, they wreck. And then they start backing across the track in front of traffic, and then it just keeps on going. But let's... Do it in this one. Let's keep it clean. Let's uh, not get into anything. No, no wrecks. Keep it going straight, and we'll win this race. They'll wreck in by themselves. We we just mind our own business and do what we gotta do. 
But um, I really hope, and I know this is a budget title, but I really hope that they get like DLC in here, and then we could have like some road courses or, or something, you know. Like that'd be amazing if we just could add some more tracks. But it's just a bunch of titles, so I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. But I don't know who can make this freaking game title famous aside from Ed Sound so if he does it and gets the appeal going on, then we'll have something. You just drove into that wall all by yourself, didn't you? And I can't blame you, I do that shit myself. I'm in third right now. Um, we're not going to run out of time or anything because we haven't wrecked or lost a significant amount of time through wreckage or anything. Oh god! There you, there you fucking go. Okay, just L, L. What is L? L. Uh, L. Okay, there you go. Like, I don't know. It says it's an analog six, so I don't know why I couldn't get it right. Okay, just go. I lost like 10 seconds of time from that. There's a car at the bottom, car at the top. And we're already at the bottom, and that shit's gonna happen. This guy just reared at me. They, 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 he reared me again! Idiot! That was not profane enough, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to waste my time trying to find a better name. You don't deserve the profanity. You're not you're not bad enough profanity. You fall short on assholeness. <sighs> okay, so I don't think I lost too much time in, in all that situation. Though I could be wrong. I'm going to slow down immensely and then go down the bottom of the track. We're third again. I've got to win this race. I'll want to unlock me another car. What? Why? What? Oh my goodness. I tried to avoid that and not try hard enough. They're just spawning cars inside of each other. And they're getting back going. Okay, casually, I guess this is how they get to do it. We were still first. So you can be in first place, but you, you you don't complete the challenge if you're in this situation where you've wrecked so many freaking times. Because you're the only one that actually gets this darn clock. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to go in between cars, and I, I can't do that. And You've got anger problems, Tony Stewart. It's not letting me respawn because I'm flipping. I hate that. Okay, we're not finishing this race either. I just want to unlock a new car and use it. Y'all think y'all so cute, don't you? Game over. I kind of wish they had more statistics um, for like the race selection because I didn't just never run at Phoenix, so I shouldn't just say zero zero zero. It should say like game over, how far I've gotten in laps, and blah blah blah. But, um, yeah, it's just what it leaves us with. The only races that I finished were at uh, Martinsville and uh, Charlotte. I, I just have to call them what they actually are. <laughs> okay, what are we picking? Uh, I already used that car. Um, this one doesn't have terrible grip. That one does, but it, it's pretty fast. And we already used that car. So let's, let's just use the Suwanko car. It's 83. Um, okay, well, Lombard's 82. So we're discount. Lombard right now. Ready. Let's go. Racers, start your engines. Oh, this is uh Darlington. Yeah, I knew this track was in this game. I guess I just forgot. <laughs> Dar last one. Twelve go. laps. Um I'm guessing this track is like much bigger than every track we've gone to. I mean I guess Darlington's pretty big. It's the biggest of the ones in reality that we have been to in this game. Pretty big track again to start the race off. Got some guys stopped like before the start finish line. They didn't even make it to the start of the race. Holy crap. I'm trying to avoid him, but I'm doing a, putting in a terrible effort once again. Okay, so we're just you know, passing these guys. They're not as fast here as they were at the Richmond thing. The Sacramento. Oh Lord! Lord! Just, he's flying into the road! <laughs> okay. And I'm in second. There's the leader. The leader is my rival, go figure. Okay, well. For the remainder of the race, that wreck is going to be there. There's just going to be a bunch of cars wrecked there. And now, like, people being slow and trying to get up to speed, getting crashed into by people that are faster, is just going to go all the way around the freaking track. Like, that's just how it goes. But I'm in the lead. My rival is not attacking me or whatever. Okay, you're backing down the track. You're upside down. And then these guys are trying to get up to speed. That's what I'm talking about. People are going to crash into them. They're going to get launched into turn one flying. And then it's just going to keep on going on. Like, how did this guy get here? What happens when they're not up to speed and there's a wreck? Uh, if they had caution in this game, this game would be like the worst fucking arcade game ever. JC, avoid him. Avoid him. I suck. But yes, it is super and excellent, like he said, that I am still in first place. And I have not been turned around yet. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get turned around at some point, get involved in something. But one or two times is all I can take. This is the easiest race we've had yet. The easiest race I've had yet in this game. Okay, 
dive underneath him. That was amazing. That was crazy. Good shit. Out of nowhere, car upside down, car wrecked with the apron, and I, I'm still okay. Keep your fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed. Running out of time. That was that was bad. He, he just and they do this shit. They do it on purpose. Like they don't want to deal with their crap anymore, so they just fucking go. Well, you're up to speed. That's the fastest competition I've had yet, and he wrecked me. He, damn. Okay, go, go, go. No, don't respawn. Go, go. Please don't touch me. Please. Okay, one more lap. We have enough time to finish the race. Just don't get involved in anything. Don't touch the wall. This guy's all over the place. Bottom, top, middle, whatever. Okay, we got the back stretch clear. Now, can there just not be some wreck in turn three and four? Well, there's a guy at the bottom. Don't hit the wall. Don't, no, don't, JC. We're gonna finish. And finally, we win a race in Speedway Racing. What the hell's the respawn for? Uh, all the other cars are off the track, I guess. Uh, 529, 656. They actually have like an online ranking. Like all your stats go online to see like who's got the best times here. Uh, if I had wrecked, I probably could have been like the top time or one of the top times. Okay, so this is basically uh, a classic Old Spice car. Um, I don't know what the actual sponsor is here. Like, what is it trying to mimic? Like, I see Lily Enjoy. Is that like a, a Lily's Diabetes? They don't sponsor NASCAR anymore. They pulled some stupid shit on um, some driver in 2019. But, um, glad to have this car. I want to see the stats on that. Let me just click on one of them. Let me find this this uh, Old Spice looking thing. Okay, it has no speed, but it's got tons of acceleration and uh, good grip. Okay, well now we've looked in on that. Thanks for watching this video uh, of me checking out um, Tony Stewart Sprint Car Racing. Great game. This game, uh, Speedway Racing, great game in some ways. I actually had more fun playing this game than I did um, the other one, but I still did have lots of fun with the freaking weird guy just teleporting across the track. That was, I mean, that's not even supposed to happen. We had a, a cool photo finish for the A main and the um, little midgets. But, uh, yeah, glad to be back with my channel. I was off for like five days, not uploading videos or recording anything, but uh, got that drive again. Finally got the time, and it wasn't tired all freaking day, so yeah. See you next time. That's that, and episode over.